Hi everybody, Dr. Rahul here from Your GP Circle. Today we're talking about low mood and depression. Now low mood and depression is one of those things that we're seeing more and more of as doctors and GPs. Now whether it's mild depression, moderate depression or severe depression, one thing's for sure, we always offer people conservative advice. Those things that they can be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to try and lift their mood again. So today I want to share some of the things that I tell my patients that they can be doing to try and lift their mood. Number one, I always tell my patients to keep a structure and keep a routine to the day. When we're feeling low and depressed, it's very easy to just let the day go by, let the night go by, and everything just mixes into one. But set an alarm and wake up at a set time and make sure you're going to bed at a set time. Really, really important to make sure you're keeping a structure and a routine to your day. Number two, once you are up in the morning, get fresh, get ready, and head out of the house. I know when you're feeling low in mood and depressed, you just want to stay in your pajamas and you just want to stay at home where you're comfortable, where you feel less vulnerable, you feel least vulnerable. But the longer that you spend at home, the more difficult it will be for you to get out there again amongst people or back to work. So please don't spend too much time alone. Once you are out of the house, either go to the shop, go to a quiet shop if you need to. I know when you're feeling low in mood and depressed, you don't feel like being in busy places. So just go to a quiet place maybe. Or one thing I always advise all of the people I see with depression is maybe go down to the local social club or the church and join a hobby, join a class, join a lesson, do something new, be around new people. It serves as a distraction. And sometimes it's nice to be around people who don't know you and you don't know them. So that's really worthwhile looking into. Third of all, doing some exercise. Now, exercise has been proven time and time again to be really beneficial when it comes to lifting the mood because exercise releases its natural hormones and natural chemicals in our body and our brain which lifts our mood. Now, whether that's going for a run, going for a walk or joining the gym, just do something because it will really help. Once again, it sounds a bit contradictory because patients with low mood and depression, they're lacking in energy, they're lacking in motivation, but even the people I see here, I do advise them on doing exercise. And when they come back and see me, they say, doctor, it took a lot of effort, but it really did make me feel better. When I started to go back to the gym or when I restarted doing some exercise, it really helped me. So please start doing some exercise. And last of all, online help. So when you come and see your GP, or if you go and see your GP about being low in mood or depressed, one of the things they might do is refer you to a counselor or for psychological therapy, such as cognitive behavior therapy. Now there's often a long waiting list for these services, but the good news is you can start to do these online from the comfort of your own home. So there are lots of online resources, websites offering online CBT for free, such as Mood Cafe, Mood Gym, and Headspace. These are three really good sites to go on to, to have a look. So on there, you'll find advice on how to do online CBT. So trying to change that thought process from a more negative mindset to a more positive mindset. And also I think it's Headspace, which gives some advice on meditation during times of low mood, depression, and anxiety. So these are some of the things that you can be doing if you're feeling low mood or depressed. Now, number one, once again, number one, keep a structure and keep a routine to your day. Number two, keep busy, be out of the house, join a hobby, join a class. Number three, do some exercise. And number four, go online and have a look at some online CBT resources. I hope that's been useful, either for yourself or a family member. Now, once again, if you are feeling very, very down and depressed, or you're having bad thoughts about harming yourself or harming others or ending things even, Please don't hang around for this advice. Please go and see your GP or get some medical help as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.